Well, I'm delighted to be here uh, this evening. Uh, very interesting uh, conversation. Um, so the question is why? So why do we even need to sort of talk about this? And I think, you know, one of the things that's a hot topic at the moment is productivity. And, um, you know, the, uh, the construction industry is a very important industry economically. In the UK, it's about just under 6% of GDP. And globally, recent estimates have put it about $10 trillion uh, in terms of economic output. It's incredibly important. And actually, more important than that is actually the economic output it enables is orders of magnitude actually greater than the construction value. Right? Because great places where we work, you know, that is economic output. So productivity is very important. And the great news about that is that if you're productive, then uh, you're delivering uh, good value to your clients, you're delivering higher earnings for your workers, and you're delivering sustainable business. So that's why it's so important. Together with the fact that we're or, uh, having have a construction skills gap, um, it leads us to want to do something different. And the good news is, is you know, for some time, the industry has recognized that we need to do something different because of all the issues that are identified there. And I think it's even more important at the moment with the construction, with the industrial strategy, Brexit, these other storms, we need to change. We need to grab hold of our, our, our future and, and, and make it our own. And I think the one thing that we do know, and I think uh, good old Albert uh, put it quite well, that if we're expecting something different, we want a different outcome, then we, we better start changing what we do, because otherwise it's just pure madness. So we've got to change. And the good news is that we can learn. There are other industries that have so far been far more profitable than ours, who've invested a lot of money in research, development, lean production processes, and even in automation. And they've massively improve the productivity of their output. And I think it is also safe to say that planes are a lot better quality today than they were when they first started. And uh, so, and similarly, you know, in, in automotive, you, put, you, you just get in and you expect everything to work. Is that where the construction industry is today? Um, so there's an opportunity there to, to learn from uh, what others have done. Uh, and try and give, offer our clients a better solution. I think today, Sarah talked about bravery. I think today you've got to be brave to be a client in construction because of the uncertainty. Who knows what's actually going to turn up at the end of it? How do you really know how that stack of drawings there, how does that actually transform into a building? So we can use technology to help us in, in that visualization through digital uh, technologies to be able to see what we're going to get uh, before we get it, and actually iron out some of the things like where the light switch is, you know. Um, so that's the opportunity. We can use production techniques to improve the efficiency of what we do, and we can uh, pull that together in a way that delivers certainty to our clients uh, in, in, in uh, in the way that they will experience what we get. So just to illustrate some of this, rather than talking about a circle, I'll, uh, I'll show some, uh, some footage. OK, there we go. So I mean, at the end of the day, what we want is good quality housing, for instance. Right? It, it needs to, it's, it's a, very important for um, uh, the way we live. But we can think about how we provide that housing in a better way that creates light space, uh, sustainable uh, uh, living through smart, intelligent control systems, um, linked with a wider system around our, 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 our buildings. What we're looking for is high performance. We don't care how it's done as a client, but what I want to know is I have confidence that it's going to work and it's going to work effectively. So uh, what we're experiencing is that uh, there is a different way of being able to deliver that. And uh, already, uh, we've experienced delivering uh, structural components through uh, automated manufacturing processes. We're looking at 
how we might uh, apply some of the technologies that we talked about to <laughs> deliver greater value around housing uh, and some of the components that goes into uh, construction. So we're looking at the uh, aerospace industry uh, uh, to, and uh, other uh, uh, technology to see how we can uh, craft our houses of the future in a different way, using technology in a way that makes people far more productive. And that's the important thing. This isn't about taking people out of the equation. This is about making every person much more productive. That means that they can deliver greater value uh, to our customers, and uh, their intelligence can be uh, applied to actually the value-adding uh, activities rather than, as uh, they say in robotics, the dull, dangerous, or dirty. We don't want to do that stuff. We want to do the interesting stuff. Yeah. So um, by uh, enabling uh, machines, some element of automation, to do the dull, dangerous, and dirty stuff, we can get on, do the more interesting stuff in a much more productive way that actually provides much greater value, choice, and uh, elegance to our customers because we've spent all our effort on thinking about the design and the quality of the design and how we answer our clients' needs in uh, the modern city of the future rather than doing all the dull, boring stuff. Thank you.